Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today I'll explain how to plot the lift chart in Random Forest in 9. So Random Forest is a machine learning algorithm that is used for classification and regression task. It is an ensemble method that combines multiple decision trees to make a more accurate and robust prediction. In a random forest, a large number of decision trees are constructed on different subsets of the dataset. Each decision tree is constructed by randomly selecting a subset of features and a subset of data points from the original dataset. During the training process, each decision tree is trained independently on its own subset of the data. Once all the trees are trained, they are combined to make a final prediction. The final prediction is made by taking the majority vote of all the individual tree predictions. You can see a data set. It may be divided into n number of decision trees. Different decision trees will emerge, will get different results, but the final result will be based on majority voting. Then comes the concept of out of back prediction. Out of back predictions are, are a concept in machine learning algorithms, particularly in ensemble methods such as random forest. In this method, the algorithm creates multiple decision trees by using different subsets of the data for training each tree. Out of back predictions are the predictions made by each decision tree on the data points that were not used for training that particular tree. You can see here we are having an original set A, B, C, D. When we'll do the bootstrapping sample, patient A and C are considered. But when we do the prediction of patient B and D, it is known as out of back prediction. Similarly, in this case, back two, we have considered A, B, C, D. So we don't have anything for out of back prediction. Patient A, B, C, D. In the third back, we have considered patient A and D. So when we do the prediction for patient B and C, it is known as out of back prediction. Confusion metrics, I have already explained in all my previous videos. Kindly refer my tutorial series of nine. Uh, this is also explained. Now let's talk about the lift chart. A lift chart also known as a gain chart is a visualization tool used to evaluate the performance of binary classification model such as decision tree, logistic regression, new bias and support vector machine. The chart compares the predicted probability of the positive class against the actual proportion of positive instances in the data set. Lift measures how our model is performing in prediction against the prediction without the model. You can see here we are having 10,000 cases. This 10,000 cases will be divided into 10 parts. Each part consists of 10% probability. So in the first part, 876 events occurred. In second part, 743 events occurred. So cumulative is 876 plus 743, 1619. How did we got this? So let's go on the next slide. In the first part, out of 1,000 observations, the events that occur are 876, which is 22.7 percentage of the total event. 876 divided by 3859. The gain for the first part is 22.7 percentage. In the second part, out of 1,000 observations, the number of the events that occurred is 743, which is 19.25 percentage of the total event. The gain for the second part is this plus this 41.95. Now, as we are in second part, we will be considering 20% probability because for each part, we have considered 10 percentage. So first part 10, so second 20 percentage. So 41.95 divided by 20. So this is a lift which we have got. So in comparison to 10%, in first part, we are, we are able to gain 22.7%. So the lift is 2.7. In the second case, in comparison to the 20% probability, we have gained 45.9%. So the lift is 41.95 divided by 22.098. Now, how we can run this in 9? Let's see. So first of all, activate input output from here. I'll activate CSV reader. My data set is in CSV format. Part 1, open, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. We want to do the classification or the prediction of heart disease based on age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol and maximum hours of exercise. So, 
I'll activate the column filter from here. I'll right click on it and configure. I'll take all the variables on left side, age, testing blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise, heart disease, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now let's right click on it and see the filter table. Let's do the partitioning of the data set. Right click on it and configure. 80% data will be used for training purpose and 20% for testing. Stratified sampling is to be done according to the hard disease. Click OK, right click on it and execute. So the first partition consists of training data set. The second partition consists of testing data set. Okay. Now activate the random forest learner from here. Right click on it and configure. Make sure that the heart disease is our target variable. Split criterion, you can select either information gain, information gain ratio or gain index, any one of them. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now activate the predictor from here. Disconnect this. So this predictor will get its learning from this node and the data set will be from the partitioned data. That is a testing data will be feeded into this predictor node. I click on it and configure. Tick mark this, change production column name, to prediction column name, append overall prediction confidence. Okay. Right click on it and execute. Now activate the scorer from here. To see how well the model fits the data configured. Activate the heart disease, prediction heart disease, click OK, right click on it, execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the confusion metrics. So the classification accuracy which we have got is 67.93, which is quite low. Now we want to see the lift chart. How much is the lift? So activate the lift chart. Disconnect this. Right click on it and configure. Now heart disease is there. Probability column we uh, will activate yes. And here also we want the heart disease. Probability column is just a minute. We will have to make some changes here. We will go in random forest predictor, configure and let's Tick mark here and we'll write it down probability true. Okay. Right click on it and execute. Again, come here and configure. Yeah, that's fine. So activate the prediction of the heart disease. This also, yes. General plot options. Tick mark here. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the image. Quite good. So the lift for the first 10 percentage cases is 1.5, 1.5. And then uh, slowly the lift is decreasing here for 30 percent. It is 1.42, something like this. You can also get the cumulative gain. Click here, right click on it and configure. And so the cumulative gain, click OK. Right click on it, execute. Again, right click on it and see the image. You can see we have got the cumulative gain chart. So this is the way you can generate the lift chart in Nine. For more videos on Nine, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on Nine.